What's up, y'all? It's me, Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your very first time here, welcome. Don't be scared to join my family. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So, as you can tell by the title, today's title, I will be giving you guys all the details on how I lost weight. I lost 14 pounds in two weeks. Honestly, I lost 14 pounds in less than two weeks, but all together, I think I'm down 16 pounds. So let's start with how I lost this weight. I started keto. So I know at first I was kind of like, oh, I'm not so sure about keto. I'm not so sure about keto. It's been kind of hard. I kind of psyched myself out about it. So I think a lot of people psych themselves out about keto, but it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. So I had a coworker that did keto. He lost over 100 pounds doing keto. He kind of wanted hype me up into it to try to get started. I also had another coworker, her name Kyla. She lost some weight from doing keto. And she was like, you know what, Courtney just started. I think you will like it and watch how fast you lose the weight. So I'm like, all right, y'all know what? Y'all know I'm I'm close to this surgery. I'm like, okay, I got 30 days. Let me, let me get started and take it serious. Well, I started, but I didn't get serious until about mm, two weeks ago. So, um, once I started, the first thing I did was I cut out all sugar drinks because what a keto diet is, it's a low carb, high fat, but good fat, moderate protein diet, okay? So you cutting out all the carbs, that's sugar, pastas, breads, um, sugar juices, pops, rice, uh, anything, honestly, our bodies don't really supposed to have rice in it honestly pasta none of that is good for your body so i started out with just drinking nothing but water okay and i just kind of went cold turkey because when i stand my mind to something i can go cold turkey i know that's hard for a lot of people but for me it wasn't so i drank a lot of water that first day and i've been drinking ice sparkling water it's many 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 brands of sparkling water so if you don't like the ice brand is so many other brands out here, but I've been drinking those ice waters. Um, I also drink the energy drink. So the caffeine and the energy drink is also good for being on keto. That that drink has zero calories, zero carbs. It has nothing in it. So if you still want to drink the energy drinks, make sure you get in the ones with either five calories or no calories, no sugar, no carbs. If you drink energy drinks, okay, you can still have those. I think the first day I started, I wanted pizza. I was craving pizza. I made a keto pizza. So let me tell y'all what I did to this pizza. Instead of me eating regular bread, I went and I got a low carb wrap. I went and I got a low carb wrap and I put garlic Parmesan sauce. I made my own garlic Parmesan sauce. You can still have heavy whipping cream. You can still have cheese. You can still have butter. Those are good fats. And make sure you're switching out your oils too. You want to switch out any vegetable canola oil. You want to use almond oil, avocado oil, or coconut oil. Those are the good oils or MCT oils. So I just made my own garlic Parmesan sauce. You can have chicken. You can have bacon. You can have any protein. Pick you a protein. You can have any protein you want. So I put the protein on it, which was chicken and bacon. I put spinach on it. I also put, um, I think, onions and mushrooms. I put my mozzarella cheese on top and I popped it in my air fryer. That was day one. And when I tell y'all that pizza was so good, people think keto food is nasty. It's not. You can really still have a lot of the foods that you already eat. You just substituting the breads and stuff. No chips, no snacks, none of that. You taking all that out your diet. When I got on the scale, I was 206 when I started this diet. I think I was already down to like 202 the very next day. I kid y'all not. I lost maybe three to four pounds that first day. So I'm like, dang, if I lost that much weight in one day, 
let's see what I can do in these 30 days before I had this surgery. Because what I didn't tell y'all, I keep realizing I never told y'all that my surgeon wanted me to lose 10 to 15 pounds. I, I might have told y'all that, but if I didn't, I'm just going to reiterate it. I was supposed to lose 10 to 15 pounds. Now, when I originally did my consultation with Dr. William, I was 205 pounds. So 10 to 15 pounds would have put me at 195 or 190. So I'm straddling between 190 and 195. I thought I wanted to go down to the one to the 80s, but honestly, I already feel like I'm kind of more getting to like the skinnier side and I don't want to be skinny. So I think I'm gonna straddle this 190 to 195. But um, back to keto. That first day when I lost all three to four pounds, I just took off with it. I, I started Googling keto recipes. Like if I crave something I wanted, I would just Google how to make a keto. Uh, it's a lot of foods you already eat that you can have. A lot of people just don't know that. I love cheese. I love a lot of your sauces you can still have. Or you can substitute. They do have sugar-free sauces. I found the brand by a guy. I think his name is G. Hughes. He makes sugar-free sauces. But you can have sauce too as long as it's less than 2 grams of sugar. And you don't want to overdo the sauce. Don't overdo the sauce regardless you can still have fast food if i get fast food what i'll do is like let's say i get a burger i go to a restaurant I order a burger no bun that's it you can still have pickles i snack on pickles you can snack on pork rinds i also you guys on top of starting keto i fast i fasted i don't have a set fast but what i can tell you is on keto you do not be hungry many days i force myself to eat the most i'm hungry the most when i'm at work because i work from 4 30 4 in the morning so when your body when you're trying to keep your body up overnight you do be hungry you crave sugar but for the most part i force myself to eat because i know i have to eat something so i will tell y'all if y'all start keto you're not gonna be hungry like that you're gonna be forcing yourself to eat honestly so on top of um fasting I, some days I fast for 16 hours. Some days I fast more than 16 hours without even realizing it. Some days I fast eight hours or some days I fast 12 hours. I don't have a set fast, but I do know that you have to have a time period of at least eight hours where you don't put nothing on your stomach except for water if you're thirsty or a tea that doesn't have any calories. Basically, you have to go a period of at least eight hours where you're not putting any calories on your in your body because calories will break your fast. I keep me some water on hand, y'all. But even if you only fasted for eight hours, just go that eight hour period with nothing on your stomach. And that should be easy because most people should be sleeping for eight hours. Let's just say that. On top of the fasting, I did work out. I only did cardio though. I'm not finna sit here and tell y'all I was I was squatting, I was lifting weights. I told myself to get that 10 to 15 pounds off, I would just focus on cardio. That's what I did. So I'll go to the gym and I get on the treadmill for 30 to 40 minutes, just depending on how much time I have. And I'll incline. Do not just walk. I mean, if you starting off, you just starting off, you wanna just, okay, ease into it. But I, I took, uh, I went cold turkey. I inclined to 12 on, I think the speed is 3.0. I started at 3.0. Now my speed be on 3.5 and I climbed to 12 and I lose at least 300 calories, calories. So my goal every time I go to the gym and get on the treadmill is to lose at least 300 calories. So if I'm taking in less than 300 calories, or even if I'm taking in, let's say I'm taking in 600 calories, my body only taking in 300 calories if I'm burning the extra three. So also on top of getting on the treadmill, when I get done on the treadmill, I go sit in the sauna for at least 15 minutes because the sauna gets all that stuff out your body. I'm gonna put pictures in here, y'all, so y'all can see me when I had my, before I had my sleeve, when I had my sleeve, before I had my breast reduction, and when I got my breast reduction. And I'm also gonna put pictures in here of me two weeks ago to now, because it's a difference. You can tell the difference in my face. Um, I feel lighter. I feel not necessarily more energy because when you first start keto, if you read into it, it's something called a keto flu. And it can cause you to be like drowsy and fatigued. And I think I'm fatigued my entire life. Y'all know that. I, I struggle with 
low iron, which my iron is good now because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be able to have my surgery. But for the most part, I've always struggled with an iron deficiency, so I'm always tired. But I don't know. I just I feel better. My mind is more clear. It's it's weird. I don't know. Some of y'all will understand when I say that. Like when I started doing keto, I just snapped into this peace, like this place of peace, like this serene energy. And honestly, I'm happier. It's weird, but food really do play a, a role in how you feel and, you know, the things that you, th it, it plays a major role in what we actually think. So if y'all want to try keto, try it. It's not for everybody. Um, try it. If you fall off, it's, it's nothing wrong with get back on it because I can't lie to y'all. I went on a car bench this weekend because... You know, ladies, when it's that time of the month, you crave them sweets, you want them carbs, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, I ate a little bit of crumbs this weekend. I gained a couple pounds back, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna restart. I still got two more weeks into my surgery. Can y'all believe I got two weeks into my surgery? That is crazy. I leave next Friday and my surgery is on a Monday. That is crazy to me. I'm scared, but I'm excited at the same time. I'm really more so ready to get it over with, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to make this just a sit-down video or incorporate it with a vlog. Um, I still have a few supplies I have to get for my surgery, so maybe I can take y'all along with me to do that. Which I probably will. I probably will take y'all along with me, so this is just a sit-down portion of the video. Stay tuned for this little mini vlog. All right. Y'all know what? I just popped on here to say that I'm not going to put a mini vlog at the end of this video. Um, I'm actually going to end it here. I hope this video was very informative to you guys. If you have any questions, you guys know I'm open to answering any questions that you have, anything I can help with. I'm always ready and willing to answer any questions. So hit me up in the comments, y'all. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Share this video. Put y'all friends on. Let them know if they want to lose weight. Go watch Courtney's video so she can tell you how to get started on keto. Okay? I'll see y'all in the next video.